Welcome to the Rapport Advantage Podcast, transforming the way leaders communicate. Here's your host, human behavior expert and professional speaker, Alex Swire Clark. Splash! Ah. High eyes are flashy, so if you're going to sell, you got to bring the bling. Oh, I love that. That's exactly what I like. <laughs> so with a, new, with a new Queen movie coming out, a little flash forward <gasps> action there. Oh, that's right. That is really going to be good, too. It, it is. It is. I'm looking forward to it. Welcome to the Rapport Advantage podcast. We are excited to have you with us and not talking too much about Queen today, although we do like Queen. <laughs> if you haven't listened to our podcast before, er, stop, put on the brakes. We're not crashing the car today. Although we could have. We want you to listen to episodes two through six because they're going to give you that DISC foundational knowledge, a little bit of history about where DISC comes from, and we'll talk about high Ds, high Is, high Ss, high Cs, and you're going to need to know what in the heck are they talking about. That cautious style is a what and a who. So that gives you that foundational knowledge that you'll need. Here on the show, the Report Advantage podcast, we are here to help you break down the walls of miscommunication, increase your emotional intelligence, and build better relationships in the workplace and beyond. What? That's 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 what we do here. What? Dude, shut up. I'm, I'm trying to run a show here. I mean, <laughs> go outside and do something. Take a break. I am Alex Swire Clark, CEO, speaker, and emotional intelligence expert. And I am Liz Parker. I'm a certified behavioral analyst that does job benchmarking and a strategic growth consultant. Excellent. This show is all about you, not you, Liz, but but it is about you. <laughs> it is about me. It today. is about you today because we're, we're talking about high eyes. But it's really more about them, all those listener people out there. That's right. If and you we li- love them. Yeah, if you listen closely, you'll hear them. Oh, that's the dumb <laughs> cricket button. Anyway, I'm sure y'all are out there. I know because I see the stats. We, we're getting people listening. Woohoo. So this show is all about you. Give us your input and feedback on Facebook at the Rapport Advantage, on Twitter at Rapport Podcast, or visit the website at rapportadvantage.com. Before you jump in, I oh, just yes. have to do this. I got to say, you are so good at re- reminding everybody about episodes two to six, but we're on episode 47. That's pretty crazy. Man, that's a lot of content. I'm so excited. So I just wanted to like point that out how much they can pick up if they go through those episodes. That's right. That's right. And, and it's interesting when you find someone, when I'm looking at our statistics on the on the website, in yep. terms of listenership, when someone finds the podcast and they start, you know, on like lesson or episode two, and then especially it happens on weekends a lot of times. I guess there are people working around the house or doing stuff. They'll I'll see episode two and then they'll rip off like 15 or 16 episodes in a row. So it's no pretty, kidding. yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So that's, that's what we call binge listening in the, in the industry. So that binge listening f- factor. And so we get new, new fans and new followers. So it's, we're almost like a, a Lay's chip or is a Pringles chip. Once you, once you, once Lay's. you pop, yeah, once you pop, Candy you can't stop. Just one. That's oh, right. so. that's two different commercials. Even oh. we did them both. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So you, you took the Lay's, I took the Pringles. So anyway, yeah. So once people start listening, it, it's, it's hard to let us go because we have, we're entertaining and we have good nuggets to share. Yes, we do. So Aww. anyway, I'm sorry to take us off track, but I just wanted to point that out. No worries, no worries, no worries. Today, we are continuing our episodes one through four on selling to the different styles and what are their driving forces. So this is the second episode in that series, selling to a high eye. So what are their driving forces? What do you need to do as a salesperson other than the standard you know, sales things that you would normally do to specifically sell to a high eye? And today we'll start off with the fact that you need to provide recognition of their accomplishments. More of a celebratory thing that than what we did in our D segment where we're asking about them and we're kind of hushing up and listening. This is more of a, oh, dude, you know, you went to Chapel Hill, graduated with honors. Woo, hit me high five, baby. Woo, that kind of thing versus the, you know, if you try to get a high five from a D, he's going to stare at you and go. Yeah, not. Dude, put your hand down. What kind of fool? Seriously. So, but again, you have to know who you're dealing with. So a high eye is going to be all about that. You'll hit that. That little smack, the hand, you're, you're good to go. So recognizing their accomplishments and what they've done in the company as well as anything else that's in their office that you know I'm sure they're going to have around because that's what high eyes do in their office. That's right. It's totally decorated with all their accomplishments or it's around their family. It's around something else. But that's a perfect link to take us to the second one, which is let them talk for a while. Because what ends up happening is that if you can link to something that they've done with their recognition or accomplishments and ask them one little question about, tell me a little bit about how that all happened, man, they'll go. And in the process, they're having a good time. And that's the other other critical piece is they need to have fun. 
So think of ways to really instigate a little more fun in the conversation when you're calling on a high eye and when you're going to be selling to them. If they see a little pizzazzy kind of thing in their sparkle, we talked about. That's right. The bling, the bling they buy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. And keep in mind, if you've listened to previous episodes, high eyes build rapport by talking. So they build rapport by just... And then if you left after their 20-minute little monologue, they'd say, oh, Liz is so awesome. But Liz didn't say three words because I was talking That's the whole right. time. But Liz was a great Liz. Oh, man, she'd be a great friend. She's awesome. Woo! <laughs> I'll do business with her all day long. So that that that's that high eye. Just get them started. Let them go and have some fun. You know, maybe a couple little sense of humor kinds of things in there, but just kind of let them roll with it. And that's how they build rapport versus the S's who are going to be more listeners. And I was just going to say, and this is hard for D's and C's to adapt to. So they do have to get out of their shell if they are the salesperson and really let them talk. This is their time. So that's just one of the points I wanted to make. Indeed. Very good. They also want to use their own words to direct the topic back to their business side of things because if you don't, then you're just going to let them kind of be a runaway train and they're going to start in Montana and end up in Florida. Whoa, dude, we're supposed to be going to Chicago. <laughs> we're, we're halfway to Florida. So <laughs> you've got to use the words that they've already used in the conversation to kind of er, direct it back towards business. Even though we're having fun, we have to keep it on task at, at some point to get things accomplished and actually close the sale, not just, I'll see you for drinks later. And then we didn't have anything to as an outcome that we uh, could appreciably right. take care of. Because when they hear their own words coming out of somebody else's mouth, they also, because they don't focus on a lot of details, it actually reminds them, this is what we're here for. This is what we're talking about. So that takes us to the fourth one that says, don't dwell on details. You need to focus on their feelings. And high eyes, if they have a low C behind them, which is very characteristic, they do not have those details well in their head at all. And they can totally get off track. They are all about feelings. So if you can just, instead of going to the facts and figures, say, well, you know, other customers feel like this when they use this product or other customers have found that, you know, they feel so satisfied or comfortable or they want to share it with other people. So bring the people, the feelings, all those other um, emotional effects into it instead of the details of the numbers and the data. Right. You're going to be the champion, man. You bring this product in, your boss is going to love you. I mean, you're going to be the party. To, you're going to be the talk of the office, man. It's going to be all great. It's going to be phenomenal. And you're going to be strutting around here like singing aha songs. Take on. So anyway, that kind of thing. You just get them fired up about the expectations and the feelings that they're going to have once, once that pain point is then removed. Oh my gosh, because, you know, one of the things that we are all about, and so I have to dwell on this one more moment, is that we want the experience. So if you talk about our feelings and you look at, boy, the company's going to have this experience, if you can buy this and actually put it forward, um, that experience word came to mind too. So I just wanted to share that because I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Yes, that is absolutely true because they get behind the the experience, the fun factor, the feelings, and basically that's where their passions lie. So that gets them that re-energy and that energize, and then they can move on to the next project, which may not necessarily be as fun for them. But this one, man, I can get behind that because we're going to have a good time with it. Mm -hmm. Next one on the list is closing quickly, even on the first call. Because eyes can be a little bit impulsive, if you can sell them on a few different points and emphasize those feelings and, and what's going to be the outcome of that, you can sell them sometimes on that first call because especially if you set the tone with a good sense of humor and you're a good listener and you and you listen to them and talk about themselves and whatnot, you've established that rapport. They're, they're pretty easy to build rapport with um, if you've got the right tools in, in the tool belt, which you would have if you're listening to this podcast. So you can get that sale on that first call without having to necessarily dive into the details and show me the performa and what is my, you know, the trailing 12s for organizations that have used this product before, da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, you know, that, that's so high C. And I won't be worried about that. Do they like you? And if they like you, they, they certainly learn to trust you. And, and then the, the product will almost sell itself. So for those car salesmen out there or saleswomen, mm -hmm. I have to tell you, I have bought my car twice two different cars I've bought on impulse. So I actually walked in, 
looked around. My husband was the one looking for a vehicle and I walked in <laughs> and I, and he was like, what are you doing? I ended up going, oh, here's the one I want. Yep. I'm taking this one. This is the one I want. And both the salesman and my husband both were freaking out. That was the first time. The other time, what I ended up doing was I saw it on the internet. I'd heard that this salesman was a good friend of somebody else's. So there's that relationship right. thing that's so important. Yep, yep. And I ended up getting online. He calls me and I said, I want that car. And he's like, okay, well, come on down, test drive it, do the hell. I said, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I want the deal. Send me the paperwork, do the thing. I'll just come down and pick it up. <laughs> You and are a salesperson's dream. They're like, yes, this is great. <laughs> How many more Liz's are out there? Can I loan you $10,000 so you can buy another car? I mean, come on. <laughs> so that is an important thing. When you talked about closing quickly, even on the first call, there are those that will buy that fast. That's right. That's right. So that may be a shock to you C's and S's out there who want to take your time a little bit, a little more cautious. Yeah, want to get some more facts in there. I's and D's, both are pretty quick trigger pullers. And so, especially on the I's, I mean, I's tend to be a little more on the impulsive side. And again, if you can go back and, and give them the feelings behind that, oh, dude, man, you, you're going to feel like you're 20 again. It's going to be great. The top's down. You got the hair blowing back. It's going to be awesome. You got the Bon Jovi playing. It's going to be tremendous. So just getting those uh, feelings. Oh, you know what? You're right, man. And, and I, I deserve this. Yeah, man. Yeah, you deserve this. You've been working hard. You're driving that minivan for 20 years. It's time, man. It's time. Yes. Oh, I hear somebody reflecting on his life. I have no idea what you're talking about, there, Liz. <laughs> oh, how did that minivan just wreck into that pole? Mm. I guess we need to get out to the convertible a lot. Oh, well, the last one is give them package choices. So as you think about this, high eyes because they're impulsive and they don't like detail. Um, this is this actually, this is even more basic. When I go, I hate going to Subway and I hate going to Firehouse Subs because there's too darn many things I have to answer. All those details overwhelm me. So if you think about the fact that there's a sandwich up there that tells you exactly what's in it and it's the choice A, choice choice B or choice C, I'll go to that each and every time if I know they have it. If they have, I ha just like the Mexican place, when you got to go build your own thing, I'm not doing it. I want to point to the thing up there. So, boy, that just turned into all about me, but it is food. <laughs> <laughs> it did turn all about you, Liz, but, but it's always about you and we love you. So it's great. Thank but yes, you. the package options are great. You know, you got the bronze, the silver, the gold package, and here's what you get for this, and here's what you get for that. And you list the three or four items, not 20, just, you know, the basic three things that they're going to be looking for. And then you can put a star down at the bottom, you know, see back for other details or whatever else. And it makes it very, very clear for them to make a decision. We want people to make a decision about yes. the sale. We want them to say yes. The more we put in there, detail oriented, for an I, the less likely you're going to get a yes. It's just not going to happen. Now, the C's, when we get there in two weeks, that's a totally different story. But for today, very simple, one or two things, maybe three max. Here's what you're going to get in the bronze package, the silver package, the gold package. Well, what would you recommend, Alex? Because you've already built that trust. Well, I would rec recommend the silver uh, because da-da-da-da-da. And, you give them that and one they'll th buy because you said that. That's right. And they don't know me from Adam's house cat except other rapport that we've built. And so, bam, there mm -hmm. it is. And when you said gold, bronze, and silver, there's the bling. Cha -ching. Inherent bling. Cha-ching. Oh, I've got a cha-ching button. I don't even need to say that. <laughs> All right. On that happy note, we're going to end today's show. I'd like to thank Liz Parker, as always, for joining me. Liz, how can folks get in touch with you? They can email me at liz at ltresults.com or go to my website at ltresults.com. Awesome, awesome. Join our Facebook group. Head over to Facebook and search the Rapport Advantage podcast. Our group will appear. Just click to join. We've got some great questions over there. We'll get your feedback. Also, you can check out the podcast from there. Download it to your favorite device. We are on Stitcher and YouTube and Google everything. Podcasts. We're on everything. Yeah, we're pretty much on, on every platform that, that's out there other than, well, we're even on Spotify. So I used to say not on Spotify, but Spotify has fixed their stuff. So we're on Spotify too. So whatever platform and means that you want to, Apple Podcasts, we're on, on all those. Um, and then if you wouldn't mind, refer us to a friend. You know, if you've got somebody out there who hasn't listened to the show before, uh, you're finding some value out of this. We know that we can apply this both professionally and personally, and they may be struggling with a, a relationship or two in their lives. Send them our way, and we'll uh, we'll put them on the right track to get their relationships going from good to great. 
Oh, wait a minute. I stole that. That's that's a copyrighted book. From good to really good. (laughs) (laughs) And as we wrap up, one of the things I want these people to remember who are not salespeople, that we sell, 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 we sell every single day. So whether you think you're a salesperson or not, you are. You have to persuade your family to do things. You have to persuade other people to do things. So what we're talking about applies to you, even if your profession isn't sales. So it's really critical. You keep listening. That's right. That's right. Thanks for that little note there, Liz. On our next podcast, we're going to dive into more emotional intelligence topics dealing with those high S's and how do we sew to high S's? Ooh, they're tough. Mm-hmm. They're slow to get that yes out of them, but we've got some yeah. tools to help you out on that process. So we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Rapport Advantage podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Join the conversation on Facebook at the Rapport Advantage and follow us on Twitter at Rapport Podcast.